Little wins, right? Yeah. Like, I did, and there's Tom. Here play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and I have my Mavic right here. And it occurred to me, what happens while I'm having all this fun flying my Mavic if I actually lose it? Or maybe I just want to see how my flight went and see where I went on a map. Well, that's what this video is about. It's about accessing the flight logs and playing them back on Google Maps. So let's see how to do that. So you won't believe how easy it is. You don't need anything but your mobile device. So all you have to do is click on the DJI GO 4 app and it'll go to the first screen and then you just wait and it automatically goes to the second screen and then you can just click on this paper airplane right here that is the whole trick so you click on that and it takes you into your flight data right here and this part here is just like a synopsis of all my flights it's got my level here and I'm a one because I'm just a beginner then total flight time and total distance and then in this area right here there's just some statistics and you can't click on them or do anything with them so the important thing is down here there's a pull tab you just pull up on this and it brings up your flight log with all your flights okay let's click on this top one right here and let that load up and there we go now you can see right here I'm in the hybrid view and the way you get the different map views is you click on this icon right here and then you can choose either standard hybrid or satellite so I'm on hybrid right now okay so up top here there's a bar as the animation plays it fills in this data here as to what's going on if that bar is not showing there's actually an arrow right here that will open it up so you can see what's going on alright now down below we have the virtual transport controls and you can actually scroll through the movie here's my GPS coordinates right here so if I scroll to the end right here and that's my end GP or uh, so if I lost my quad for example this would be the end of my flight so I could look at these GPS coordinates to go look for my quad okay so now I'm gonna move this back Oh, excuse me okay I'm gonna move the slider back to the beginning and before I play it I'll just go over these controls this is a share button down here this increases the speed of the animation playback so I can go up to 8x and this is the play pause button and this is interesting here this is to bring up your stick controls so you can see what your sticks are doing while you were flying and then this button here just centers the quad in the middle of the screen okay let's just go ahead and hit the play button and we're in 8x right now and the messages that were on your flight controller will come up on the screen in the animation too so you can see if there were any errors or what was going on you can zoom in so let's zoom in a little bit and then let's go up to where let's just go ahead here and I'll bring it around right there and maybe we can see something happening there you can see this gimbal moved a little bit but basically it's just hovering right now and I think at this point I hit return to home and it flew back over here we'll see that in a bit so if we want to go to the full view all you have to do is click on the screen but before I do that I want to tell you this is the the gimbal control right here this tells you the tilt of your gimbal right there that little control so I think that's most of the controls so let's see if I can get oh there it goes flying across the screen and going back and there's the message descending right there and this is the full view of the screen and this is actually sideways right now uh, I've got my phone laying sideways to route this and I'm just gonna 
show it this way because it was easier for me to fit it on the screen but I'll tilt it in the video so you probably won't know so anyway there it is I'm back at home here and the quad is getting ready to land now if you want to get back to the other screen just tap on the bottom here I think just about anywhere there we go now we're back now as a bonus another thing you can do is play back the movies that were recorded on your phone the movies are recorded on the Mavic Pro itself on the memory card on the Mavic but they're also recorded on your mobile device in a lower resolution so to view those you can use uh, your file manager and let's see I'll click on that okay now what we want to do is scroll down we're looking for DJI instead of going in DJI go V4 go into DJI and then go into DJI go 4 and then look at DJI underscore record right here now in there you'll find some videos of your flight and I'll just go ahead and click on this one. There's uh, an info file with each MP4 file, but you want to play the MP4 file to view the video. So just click that. And you can pick a app to play it with. And there it is. I'm just scrolling through. And you can go through and see what's going on. Maybe that'll help you to review your video. You can do it right there at the field okay and so that's uh, pretty much it that's all you need to know if you have any questions just leave it under the video give me a thumbs up give me a like and I hope you're all having fun with your Mavic Pros if you don't have them yet then I wish you the best and hope you get them soon because they sure are a lot of fun thanks for watching Take your